Gabe here. So today we're going to be looking at the D major scale, and this is going to get us into second position, so we can start to crawl our way up the neck and not just be stuck in the open position. So in the last few sessions we worked on G major, G major pentatonic, C major, all staying roughly here. So we're going to play parts of two tunes. Uh, one will be the second part of Over the Waterfall, which I have a mandolin tutorial for here. And the other is going to be Whiskey for uh, whiskey Before Breakfast, uh, which I have a tutorial of sorts, a play along at four different tempos, and that will be here. So stick around, we're going to do D major. For playing a D major scale, we're going to put ourselves into second position. First finger on the second fret, second finger on the third fret, third on fourth, fourth on fifth. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You might notice that there are still some open notes in the D scale. Whether you use a third or fourth finger to play the equivalent note is often up to the passage that you're playing. For instance, if I go up to the note and then back down, I'm going to use typically a third or fourth finger. However, if going beyond that note, you might go to the open string. We're going to look at parts of two tunes in D major. One is the first half of Whiskey Before Breakfast, and the other is going to be the second half of Over the Waterfall. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Again, you might notice that I use the third finger instead of going to the open B. The tab might ask for an open B, but that doesn't always mean that you should play one. For a play along for the whole tune of Whiskey Before Breakfast, click the link down in the doobly-doo. Let's go ahead and move on to the second half of Over the Waterfall. Here we have an example of going up to a note that can be played either with the fourth finger or the open string, and then going beyond it. In this case, we'll go to the open string and then keep going. One, two, three, four. <laughs> If you would like to continue to improve your fiddle tune playing skills, consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications. This will keep you in the loop on future lessons. Thank you.